Hi Virgo, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. So these are your messages from Spirit, Spirit Guide Messages, what you need to know at this time. So um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female. Please only take the messages how they resonate for you. Every message may not be for you, so please keep that in mind. Um, and we'll just see what we get here, what Spirit wants you to know. It could be advice, guidance, um, confirmation, clarity, however it resonates for you. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's see what we get here for you, Virgo. Let's see what we get for Virgo. So Virgo, you can also check the description box below for links to your playlist, Love in General. If you like to go back, watch past readings, I consider them timeless. Um, also, you'll find down there uh, the decks I'm using, social media links, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading. And if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or just mail, then info is below also. And also, if you're new and you like my style, how I read, feel free to share, a like, a subscribe, hit the bell. You get about five readings a month, um, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. All right, Virgo. Let's see what we have for you. I will be pulling three oracles from each deck, and then I'll clarify each oracle, probably one, maybe two tarot cards. And at the end, I have these prayer cards. I'll pull a prayer for you at the end. So what is most needed now for Virgo Collective? This is a general reading, not a private reading. For Virgo, general collective, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, male or female. Okay, there's one. We have two more messages for Virgo. Okay, I'm feeling these two right here because they were together. And also, Virgo, if you would rather have me pull these cards off camera and then just come on uh, camera with the cards already pulled, you can leave me a comment. I do like to show the shuffling and the pulling of the cards on camera so everybody knows it's not staged in any way. So that's just how I like to read. And some people get impatient uh, with the shuffling and the pulling of the cards. But, you know, hey, it's tarot. It's how it works. People, so deal with it. <laughs> all right. So I do appreciate all of you and all of you being here. And I always send you always light, love, and blessings, always. Holy Moses. All right, I'll take that one. Let's get two more. So we have the Soul's Journey Oracle. We have the Moonology Oracle. We have the Soul's Journey. We have the Celestial Tarot. And then I have the prayer cards. where they, I just got them from the Dollar Tree, so I don't even know who makes them or anything like that. But they were two different packs, and they were different, and I mixed them together, so... I figured they'd be cute to use as a for a little ending prayer. All right. This one and this one. All right. All righty, righty. Let's get three. Okay, they tell me to take that one. I don't usually do that. I usually shuffle. But I said take that one, so I said okay. All right. So let's get a few more of these for you, Virgo, for the General Collective. Someone rising Jupiter, male or female, what spirit wants you to know at this time. Let's get two more for Virgo, please. Thank you so much. Two more for Virgo. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, two. I thought I had one in my hand. So, all right. Let's see what we have for you. We have three creativity. So three is about teamwork, uh, collaboration, um, social energy. So there may be uh, working with others here on something creative or getting advice from others about something creative here. Uh, during this time, you could be creating something for essential workers or first responders or something like that. It could be making masks. It could be making, I don't know, doing something uh, creative or something like that. So we do have here parenting 63, which is nine. And nines are about completions and cycles or coming to an ending or a completion or a cycle. So maybe you have children who are now getting older and ready to venture out on their own. So that's like coming full circle. And we have here 87, synchronicity. And 87 here is 15, which is six. So, I mean, we do have a lot of yellow here, which reminds me of the solar plexus. So that is your soul energy, or your soul purpose, your soul mission, your creativity. It's who you are. Um, that fire in your belly kind of energy. Um, your life mission and purpose, who you truly are. 
So I feel like here it could be something, maybe you're doing something creative for your parents or as a parent doing something creative with your children, or maybe something, some of you are having, uh, have children that are getting ready to graduate or going off to college or going off on their own also, but we do have synchronicity here. So something's coming into alignment for you. So things are sinking, things are coming into play, things are working out, things will be going in your favor. Everything will be coming in sync. It may not, may not seem like it right now, but purple is about manifestation. It's also about spirituality, uh, intuition, trusting, your higher knowing and that kind of energy also. So when we get into the tarot, we'll definitely look into that. So let's see what your messages are here. We have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So some sort of conclusion here coming to an end. Something's coming to an end. Maybe something more than one thing because it says conclusions. So something here, something can come to an end or you can end something. It's in reach of something that you can do. So if you're fearing that or you're not sure, it's saying here it's in within reach or something will be coming to an end soon. And then we have here, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So Aquarius may mean something for you. Um, Aquarius season, which would be um, the end of January into February. So this is about being your authentic true self and being the real you and not afraid to be who you truly are. And we have here balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So Pisces season here. So that is, um, I believe that is the end of February into March. So so maybe some of you are spiritual and you're now balancing the spiritual world and your practical world. Um and you're feeling really balanced now and you're ready to show the world. Maybe you have gifts. Maybe you want to venture out to the spiritual world by doing, um, could be do, lo, doing long distance healing, Reiki, I don't know, anything into the spiritual realm or something like that. And maybe you're afraid to tell others or stop this new venture. And that could be the creativity here. But it's telling you here just to show the world the real you. So, I mean, me as a tower reader, I was a little scared to start in this platform. And you know what? I didn't really tell anyone. My family knew. And that was about it. And I just did it. So, and I never really said anything to anybody. And they never really said anything to me. And some, some people really supported me. Some re people really don't really talk about it. So don't be afraid here. So, and we have here doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change any outcome. So some of you have a fear, worry, stress, anxiety, doubt, and uh, it's time to release that energy. It doesn't change anything. It does, it's not good for your health either. And it could be about this energy we just talked about. We have adversity. I accept the challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So some sort of learning, and it may be a challenge for you, um, feeling that you're different because I'm getting like the third eye energy here, the chakra energy. So I'm feeling like, like that spiritual alignment and awakening energy. So I feel like <laughs> you feel like you're different. You're too different. And it's a challenge here to show the world, the real you, but conclusions in with, in within reach here. So just show the world, the real you and synchronicity here could be something just happening just everything falling into play and everything just coming out into the open by somehow somebody bringing up the topic, people talking about it, and then you feeling good and confident and saying, hey, you know what? This is me. This is who I am. This is what I want to do. So don't really have, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt what others will think. Don't worry about it either and worry about being different or, or it being a challenge. So however that resonates for you, that may not be for everybody. So, or it could be somebody around you uh, in that energy also, if it's not you. Maybe you're lending uh, support to this person also. So let's see here, because I do see two fish there. So it could be like a best friend, 
maybe who um, confides in you about this journey they're on. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify this energy for Virgo. What is this creativity about for Virgo, please? Thank you so much, Spirit, for the general collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, male or female watching. What is this creativity about? The King of Wands. So the King of Wands is very creative. You don't necessarily have to be a fire sign, but this is somebody who is determined, who is passionate, who is creative, who um, is a go-getter, goes after what they want, let her drive ambition. And something very successful also can be an entrepreneur kind of energy also. So you could be working threes about working with others here. So you could be very pa fiery, passionate about something here and the spark of a creative idea because the King of Wands is very, very creative. All right, so what is this? Um, you know, I'm going to take this with the King of Wands here. We got the chariot. So again, this is about moving forward. Um, you may be using your vehicle for something, if that makes sense to anybody, because um, we have the chariot. So this is about success, victory, moving ahead, um, successful movement forward, you know, balanced energy with drive, ambition, and passion. So, and we have like <laughs> two chariots there. So something driving uh, positive movement forward. Something maybe with a vehicle, if you're doing something with uh, a vehicle or something like that, if that makes any kind of sense. All right, so let's see here. And I'm getting like, um, well, I think that's a goat, but I thought it was a lamb and the baby here. So it's like showing compassion. So maybe you're using your vehicle in a way during this time to help in some way and like showing compassion in some way I don't, I don't know if that makes sense for anybody or maybe it's you know something you're doing that's creative or just helping others during this time however that makes sense for you or if you're thinking about doing that i think spirit wants you to know uh it can be very successful all right so what is parenting about here for virgo so we have the three of swords. So this is about heartache. Yeah, some of you, <laughs> heartache. I feel like some of you are just like, oh my God, I'm so heartbroken because my kids are all grown up and leaving the nest uh, or in, you know, leading, going on to their own lives and just feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, that parenting energy of feeling just not heartbroken, but you know, well, yeah, kind of heartbroken in a way. That's kind of what I'm feeling about that. Or there could be something here with your children or your parents. Something happened here that was very heartbreaking. Um, so let's let's pull one more. Why is this Three of Swords energy here for Virgo? The Moon energy. So this is feminine energy. So this can be about um, emo. Um, deep emotions and feelings or illusions or I'm not getting secrets uh, feminine energy cycles intuition not seeing the path clearly I think you're worried about your as a parent worried about your children because they're going down a path that's like you're unsure about the path they're going down are you worried about them going off on their own going down their own path and having deep, deep feelings, you know, as a parent, obviously, being heartbroken, like, there they go, off on their own path, their own journey. And it's not totally lit or clear, but there they go, and feeling like, oh my god, I just can't believe it, and heartbroken. So that <laughs> makes sense for anybody. Again, these messages may not be for everybody. The moon is a feminine energy, so definitely could be like a mother figure, or, uh, or it could be a father figure, too very emotional time all right so let's see what the synchronicity is about the king of pentacles so this is very secure stable grounded energy it's about being a smart practical analytical so i feel here by remaining stable practical smart analytical um here things are just going to synchronize and just fall into play here and it could be about work career and finances so whatever's meant to be is going to happen here just to remain stable and grounded. 
that which is meant for you, whether it's work, career, or finance, is coming in for you. So things, something synchronicity here. So things are just going to all line up for you. So it could be getting uh, a raise, a promotion, uh, a new job, or something to that effect. Or money coming in, or something like that. All right, so what our conclusions are within reach? Full moon and eclipse. The high priestess. So this is your higher knowing. you got your intuition. Um, it's also an energy of kind of keeping to yourself. Not really spilling the beans to people either. You may know that you're ending certain cycles because we say, do here have your conclusions. So there may be cycles you know you're, because the moon is about cycles also, that you're closing out, that you're ending. It's almost here, it's almost time, but maybe you know exactly, you have it planned out, what you're doing, what you're ending, where you're going, but you're not really telling anyone. You're trusting your gut, your intuition, that this is the right choice, the right moves for you. Yeah, so here's the Ace of Swords with divine clarity, truth, um, successful new beginning. Cutting away energy is no longer serving you. So your ending ties are no longer serving you. You've had that truth and clarity, and you're concluding things in your life that you feel, because we do have like the wheel there, it's like for cycles. So you feel like there's cycles that are no longer serving you. So you're using that sword to cut them out. You've had that truth and clarity. You're trusting your gut, your intuition, that higher knowing. And you will be speaking with truth and clarity when the time is right. So, wow. Okay. And Spirit wants you to know that. That, that is the right choice for you. Whatever that means for you. All right, so it's like having like a secret strategy almost. <laughs> like this is what I have all planned out. This is what I'm doing. So show the world the real you. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so this is mental entrapment, mental blockages. So you're trapped in your head about showing the world the real you. But uh, Spirit wants you to know just do it. Don't get, Don't be so caught up in your head about it or feeling trapped about it. So balance spirituality and practicality. So here's the hermit energy. So here's Virgo. So here is you. And Virgo is earth. is about practicality, stability, uh, being grounded, secure, and stable. But the hermit is also very spiritual. It's about finding your path, your way, your light, uh, healing, deep soul searching, and uh, thinking, contemplating, all that energy. So going within and finally, fi finally finding that balance between your practicality and your spirituality. Wow, that's deep, deep soul-searching work there. Or that's something you need to do. All right, so let's see here. What is doubt? I release the need to know all the answers for Virgo. The Five of Swords. So this is an energy of Feeling like something is an unfair fight. Um, should I give up? Should I keep fighting on? Can be like ego also um, getting ahead at all costs. I don't really care how I do it. So let's see why that's here. Let's get one more. Why is the five of swords here for doubt? Release all the, the need to know all the answers. So we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Seven of Pentacles is about patiently waiting, assessing, analyzing, investing, and the Wheel of Fortune is about things going in a better direction, fate, destiny, divine timing. So you're doubting that something, something maybe that you invested in, could be anything, could it be work, career, finance, uh, situations, whatever that is for you, friends, family, coworkers, whatever here. You've invested, you've analyzed, you're, you assess, should I keep um, should I keep investing in this or should I not? So you're just kind of sitting back and not really taking any action, waiting on what to do, getting maybe a sign from the universe. And here's your sign from the universe that things are going to get better, things are going to go in the right direction, not to give up. If you feel like it's unfair, an unfair fight, you're doubting the situation, 
I, I doubt this is going to happen, so maybe I should just give up. That's a kind of five of swords energy. Is fighting or just laying down, giving up. So this is telling you here, divine timing, fate, destiny coming in, things getting better. Just wait it out, wait it out here, but don't give up. Don't give up and don't doubt that whatever's meant for you is coming in. All right, so however that means for you, it could be about money, it could be about work, career, finance, promotion, raise, uh, settlements. I mean, however that means for you, a new job. All right, so let's see what this worry is about. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, worrying about an ending. I'm learning that worry does not change an outcome. So there's maybe an ending here, a painful, hurtful ending of some kind. Could be a friend, family, um, relationship, a situation, however it resonates for you. Worried about it, but worrying about this ending is not going to change the outcome. So there will be an ending here, but worrying about it won't change the outcome. So it's need to, I need to let go of that worry. What do we have here? So we have judgment, the eight of pentacles. So it could be about um, maybe, you know, maybe you're being laid off or maybe you're being um, let go from your job. Somebody's making a judgment call here because we do have the eight of pentacles is about working hard. And we do have judgment here, which is about making a final decision, judgment call. So somebody, there may be a judgment call here about a work situation, you may be losing a position, a job, you may be terminating a position or a job, maybe losing it here, and you're stressed and you're uh, worrying about this, but saying not to worry, so, and this could be over here, you know, doubting, oh, well, what if I can't find something else here, but you have the wheel of fortune there, that whatever's meant for you is going to come in for you, so not to worry about that. So we have adversity here. So some of you have um, feel different or again, it could be about the spirituality. So we do have six of wands here, which is success, victory, getting attention, getting accolades. So even though you feel different here, it's not to worry because you can overcome challenge and adversity and you will have success and victory here with the six of wands. And the four of wands, so it's stable home life here. Celebrating ceremonies, stable home life, happy home and family um, kind of energy. You could be moving homes. You could be buying a new home. You could be moving in with somebody uh, or home life just becoming very happy and stable also. So a lot of good energy there. So let's see here. Let's get the closing prayer for you, Virgo. The closing prayer for Virgo, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Closing prayer for Virgo. Closing prayer for Virgo, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take all those flipped over. I'm not taking those. Take this one. Faith can move mountains. Wow. So, again, this is having faith. And, uh, There's no need to worry or have self-doubt or doubt in any way. Overcoming adversity to success and victory. Having faith in yourself and your situations here can move mountains and lead to success. Wow. Okay, Virgo, so best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.